Edward here from ERViewer.com. I have another video for you. I'm continuing along in this thread of the threshold of awareness, the subliminal barrier, the liminal barrier, uh, what Ingo termed in his books the subliminal threshold, kind of combine them all together. I like, I like that uh, subliminal threshold. But it's that area that we uh, turn, uh, when we turn our attention towards that barrier, towards that threshold, where our regular senses uh, come to an end and we're, we're at this wall, so to speak, and we are become, allowing ourselves to become aware of these impressions or perceptions that come through that wall or through that barrier, or through that threshold. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. That's the area that I'm talking about. Uh, Ingo, again, he, he termed it the subliminal threshold. And the, in my view, I believe that beyond that threshold, beyond that barrier, is where is our, a greater sense of our true nature. And, and that's why I say that remote viewing is more than just data gathering. This process, or what I, I call perceptual expressionism, is about more than just data mining. Uh, it's more than just a information gathering tool, as it's been called. Uh, it's much more than that, much more than that. That is, a, in my opinion, a very small aspect of, of what we're actually doing. Um, Ingo, in his own personal research, researching or, or himself and uh, this topic, um, as it has been documented over the past 100, 150 years, um, he came to the conclusion, and I agree with him, that below that threshold, below the mental processes in the area that he termed the nucleus, the psychic nucleus, or that area of our own mind deep below that threshold where we have access to what he termed a second reality, what, what he was talking about is that, is that below the threshold is, is not... Uh, there our subconscious is not just some static data memory storage base, not some hard drive that, uh, that exists in some static state where we just go back and retrieve our m own memories. Um, no, Ingo looked at it in terms of a second reality. There's a second reality happening down there. And I believe that that's true as well. And I believe that in that second reality is the greater aspect of our true nature. And that, that's, what I'm more, that's what I'm interested in with this, with this pursuit. And every time that I do these uh, quote-unquote sessions, it's an opportunity for me to access that a truer part of my own nature. That's why I do it so much. Uh, I practice this a lot. I'm continually pounding away at the threshold, pounding away at the barrier um, in order to get glimpses of a truer part of my nature, a true, truer part of my own being, which I believe exists below that barriers, below the barriers, below the subliminal threshold. And so that's what this is about. Uh, that's what all these sessions are about. And I hope you find that interesting as well, and many more to come. Plastic edged curving moving inside turning brown green black silver grimy Grimy, wet, 
smooth, curved inside, above, looping, looping, narrow. I do feel like some kind of a Tight space, tight space. A tight space. Round. Getting this idea here, this or this could be a random thought. Borrowing or lending. That could be a random thought. Five nine four nine. Inside. Grouped. Narrow. Brown. Angular. Large, I'm getting an image in my mind of Rome, <clears throat> like uh, you know, the city brown, angular. Something like that. Could be what I'm getting that idea from. This angular thing, but these tight spaces looping. I'm getting a uh, memory comparison here. This could be a creative edition and of a um, shark tank, of a shark cage. A shark cage from, you know, this angular thing. Looping, looping tight space. Five nine four nine. Five nine four nine. Five nine four nine. Dense, deep, coarse, green. Moving voices, five nine. Four nine. Some 
something curved here. Something curved here. You know, the feeling of, you know, the structure. Of the structure. You know, inside. Large. You know, this, you know, memory comparison of like a palace. Structure. Get to the idea here, the purpose. What is the what is our purpose of the structure? What is it? What is it used for? What is it known for? What is it known for? What is it known for? It's known for something. What is it known for? Getting some ideas here, like observatory, learning, you know, kind of has that, that feel, solidness to it. You know, that kind of um, higher education or something like that. Like that, um, professional. Like a professional feel, like uh, that kind of thing, like, um, that feel to it. Uh, well respected. That kind of thing. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, like a government feel. The government feel. What, what does that mean? Government feel like uh, um, like um, very intense. People are intense. They are, you know, people. Well, intense doesn't really. I mean, let me look, let me just look at that. Government, government feel. What do I, what do I mean by that? It means that the people are intense. Um, it's uh, no nonsense. Um, Kind of like uh, rigid, rigid. You know, I'm, I'm getting this memory comparison. Uh, this is triggering uh, like a sports arena.
sports arena, you know, the in intensity. The intensity factor. You know, it's intense. People that are right there are, well, they got something focused. Focused. Building. Focused. Getting this uh, big ideas. Big ideas. I want to. I want to go inside and get a better feel. I'm getting this uh, this feeling of inside. So. Inside here, what's what's going on? It's like a pressure, pressure, um, objectives, um. There's pressure inside there, there's pressure. Like a pressure, pressure like, but it feels like emotional pressure, you know. Like an emotional pressure. You know, they're, they're intense. Focused, smart, smart. Creative. What else? Commerce, maybe? Maybe? I don't know, but there's something that, that goes on inside there, but it has a, wait a, minute, it has a feel to it right now. It has a feel, as if, if I'm getting this feel of, of the observatory, like look, looking at things. That's from like observatory. The, where would that come? They're looking at things. They're studying. 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 Studying what though? Particularly, something interesting about this building. Something interesting about it. What's so interesting about this building? <clears throat> what is so interesting about this place? We'll call it a place. We'll call it a place. So what else is interesting? There's something, there's something bubbling up that is interesting to me about this place. What's so interesting about it? People, the people, 
I think that the people are interesting. The people are interesting. Colorful. Intense. The people, it's the people. It's the people. It's the people that I find interesting. Like, um, group, there's a group focus, but what is, wait a minute now, the people, what's so interesting about them? The dress, the way they dress, is different. I would, I'm getting this kind of feel like colorful dress. Something colorful about it. You know, there's like some colors here. You know, red or blue or something like that. Yellow. Mm. Some kind of colors, something like that. Like uh, banners, some of that, colored, colored banners, something along those lines. Well, people, people are interesting. Performance, is there a feeling of that? Upscale. Upscale. Getting this idea of apartments. This is kind of apartments structure. Structure. Fine. Fine. Okay, this memory comparison here, this idea coming of fine cuisine. You know, that kind of uh, upscale feel, that's probably the better, the better term for it, upscale feel. It reminds me of like Rome. Reminds me of that. Reminds me. Colorful people, upscale, um, what else, uh, da, 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 da. upscale, um, what, ah, what was it, where did you run, colorful people, upscale, robust, that kind of thing.